Here we have our stupid card tray. That is not my opinion. That's the actual name of this device. On the right side here, I have the classic version, which retails for right around $30. And on the left side, I have the elite version, which retails for right around $46. The difference between the two is the elite version comes with the seat anchor and the grip mat in one complete set. Want to hear a funny story? If you buy the classic for $30, and then you purchase separately the grip mat for 13 and the seat anchor for 10, you're actually gonna save about $3. I thought it was funny. Welcome back to another Jeff Reviews for you. As you saw, we are looking at the stupid car tray. Well, you know what? Without any waste of time, let's get right into the review, but make sure you stick around to the end to see if this product lives up to its name. Let's look at some of the specs. So the stupid car tray is a little over 17 inches long about 12 inches wide. And at the tallest point down here, we're about four and a half inches tall. And the other side, we're just about an inch and a half tall. You see that we have different compartments, even access here for a cell phone charger. They do have optional cup holders, which I will show later. I do appreciate this rubber that goes all the way around that you can set something right on top of it, like a pizza box or whatnot, and it shouldn't slide off. Let's flip this you over. You can see that we have a Velcro that's around the bottom. And if we flip this back over again, the Velcro can be hooked together to secure something to the top of the stupid car tray, just so it will not fall off. Of course, I cannot forget to mention the little clips on the front here, which you can use to hang your grocery bags as you travel. Now let's switch over to the elite version. I should say that the elite version is exactly the same as the classic. The only difference is I get this awesome add-on stuff that I'm gonna put on right now. Of course, here is our grip mat. Let's pull that out. I do think it's silly that I have to apply this myself. If I bought the upgraded version, the least they could have done was install it, but this does have a sticky back to it. So you're supposed to peel it off and put it on. So I've peeled mine off. I'm gonna try to get this as tight as I can without overlapping anywhere, pushing it down. Now just flattening it out. I'm just gonna hold it down there in place and I think we are installed. What I like about the grip mat is if you have like a laptop or something, you wanna set it here, you have more surface area to grip than just with the classic without the grip mat. You know what's interesting? My Elite version came with this cargo strap, except I need to get it out just so I can install my seat anchor. The directions of the seat anchor tell us to push this part right here down we're just gonna go right in here to the spot where that cargo strap was, push it all the way in, maybe reach underneath so we can pull it through, there we go. And now it's supposed to pull against it. That's pretty cool. And this part, of course, tucks in the seat behind it. I did purchase the optional cup holders as well. I should say they come in black and gray. I didn't realize when I bought these that they also have a mug version that just has cutouts around it so you can put the handle of the mug through. That did look pretty cool. Now that we are all set up and ready to go, let's go install it in our car and test it out. All right, so let's stick our stupid car tray right here in the car. And that's exactly what it's gonna look like. It's gonna level that seat out so no longer do we have to worry about things falling back. I'm gonna hook up the seat strap real fast and then we're gonna test this out. I just disconnected this part from the stupid car tray. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push it just through the seat so it goes to the other side and I can grab it, but I'm gonna leave this clip part on this side. It was a little more challenging for me to find the little red thing. I didn't realize that this car had like some sort of a cover covering the back of the seat right here. Um, I had unbuckled my car seat cover that was here just for the back of this seat, but it is in there all snug. We are all set in and clipped in. Now it won't fall off, but it's sitting right here. Um, I will say that I have the Velcro part out front because I'm going to go get some soda from probably McDonald's and maybe have it setting here just to see how that works. But I did want to point out my gap guard that I still use. It's a review I did not that long ago. It is a pretty sweet product and it saves me a lot of hassle. Anyway, Let's go get some drinks. Here we are on our maiden voyage with the stupid car tray. As you can see, the soda is strapped in there with not even moving. Plus I have extra space. Now you can see my water bottle in there. So far it's pretty cool because typically I'd have to hold these, otherwise they'd fall over. Well, we just got back and look, nothing spilled. Everything stayed in its place. The sodas did well. I put a water bottle here with some straws. My Nalgene bottle fit in the other cup holder. I even got to keep my wallet and my phone on the tray. Nothing fell off. That was a success. And you know what? 
I am so far impressed. So tell me, what do you think of the stupid car tray? Is this something that you would use? Do you have one? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. I'm really excited I get to use the hooks in the front for my bags and I put these bottles of windshield washer fluid up here just for fun. I typically would not carry them like this, but the grip mat so far is holding it. I'm really impressed so far with the stupid car tray and it's really, really convenient. We made it the whole way with the bags attached to the front of the stupid car tray, but well, sad news is the windshield washer fluid as soon as i turned right they tipped right over and that makes sense they weren't even buckled down but the bag stayed in place that's awesome so this is interesting to note with all that added weight i actually put creases in my seat i'm probably going to end up getting some sort of a seat cover because i don't want to put any damage into the leather with this hard plastic that goes all the way around in this video we are looking at the stupid car tray so what did I think of it? Well, first things first, let's talk about the price. There's either the Classic or the Elite. The Classic is around 30 bucks. The Elite goes right around 46, 47 dollars. Do you know what I forgot to mention? The price point didn't even include the cup holders. Those are an additional 12, 13 dollars a piece. This thing just gets more and more expensive as we move along. In my opinion, I did think the price point was a little high, especially for something that just looked like a high chair tray. That being said, I did find it very, very useful and convenient while I was using it. It didn't let my drink spill. I was able to have a flat surface to set things. I even really liked those hooks on the front. I wasn't too sure why I ordered the Elite, but then I had to put everything together. In my opinion, if I order this as one, it should come as one, but... That's, I guess, something very, very minimal. I liked all the little compartments. I thought they were very, very convenient. I could throw my wallet in there. Maybe I put some pens there, but I could never get my phone to sit in any of the compartments. My phone is just much too big for any of those squares. And I think maybe if you had a flip phone, it would fit there, but most phones are much too big for the squares provided. I didn't like how any weight to this just dug into my seats. And I actually had to put another mat underneath. In my opinion, the company could have put rubber all the way around the bottom just to soften that. I originally thought it was gonna be annoying if I had a passenger ride in the front seat with me, but really just unsnapped it. I put it in the back and you know what? When I did have a passenger, I just brought it back to the front again. I also thought it was really convenient on road trips. My son who sits in the back, I just set it up next to him and he had his own tray right there. That was pretty convenient. One final thing, although I have the seat anchor, I often use it without completely, and I've not really had any trouble of it falling forward. It's convenient, but I haven't really used it. Anyway, that was my full review of the stupid car tray. I really like this item. I just wish the price point was a little better. Anyway, if this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a great day. Day. I just wanted to show you two more things. Typically when I drive, I only have one cup holder in and the other little compartment here I just use as a pen holder. For me, it's really convenient. Therefore, I don't have to look to find pens anymore. And I will say, even though I like this grippy mat, it sure catches a lot of dust and I have to clean this thing frequently. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the stupid car tray. You know what? In this video, we actually showed off my gap guards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to link that video right up here and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you at this review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.